Yeah, you know, it's just cool to hear Monty react to like we all reacted to Kyler Murray and not only what Kyler Murray did physically, based on our means, but also what he did mentally out there on the field. And uh, that was a big takeaway for me, just talking to him about that. What was he more impressed with as we asked the producer question? What were you more impressed with, Monty? The, the physicality, meaning the body of Kyler Murray running a 4-3 out there, or mentally? What was your biggest takeaway? Yeah, Wolf, I mean, I think that's a great point. I mean, you know, hey, we've we've all seen what, what Kyler can do physically, and, you know, that's obviously been a challenge for him to um, to get back to being able to do the things that he can do just physically. But, you know, I think we can't forget here that this is, this is a brand-new offense with a, a brand-new yeah. coaching staff, and, you know, that Kyler just really had, had three weeks of practice leading, leading up into the game where he was actually throwing to live receivers and calling plays in the huddle and making adjustments and making reads and you know that's 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 the hardest part of the quarterback position and so to see Kyler go out there and operate and sure it wasn't perfect and there's obviously things that he can do better that we can do better as a team that the coaching staff can do better that all of us can do better but you know I think it was a positive step a step in the right direction and and hopefully we can build on that um, not only this week but through the rest of the season. Yeah that right there honestly is the biggest surprise of court of Kyler Murray's debut to me based on means was just the way he was operating the the amount of different reads he was using and going through his progressions as well to me I, I was I was really really um pleasantly surprised to see that out there that in the four three I'm sorry I can't get over the fact he was running a four three out there again it just looked like there was very little drop off. You know, Adam Archuleta was on with us. What was it, uh, Tuesday, Wolf? And Ad- Adam called the game for CBS. And you know, Adam made the astute observation that it, if you had no idea Kyler Murray had been out for eleven months, yep. w- recovering from an ACL injury, you would have no idea he missed any time. Uh, and I think that speaks to just how well he played. Uh, in that game now the obvious the next step is to put more points on the board and obviously there's there's a team element uh involved uh into that as well the uh, speaking of the team the other side of the story well we came out of the gates talking about it today kyler murray being a different person this year since the injury and i know this is a storyline that's that's important to you it's one that you've been following and i think collectively as a uh, Cardinal fan base and media contingent. Everybody wants Car- Kyler Murray to to succeed to the highest level, be a better uh, leader, be a better quarterback, win more football games. I asked Monty Awesome for it uh, about Kyler Murray being a better leader and a better, more mature quarterback off the field and ultimately, hopefully, on it here, uh, not only this season, but going forward. I've heard all those things too, and you know I really can't speak on that. You know I uh, I wasn't here. I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't around Kyler to see what he was like, what he wasn't like. All I can speak on is that since the day that I got here, all I've seen is a guy who's been focused, dedicated, uh, done everything that we've asked him to do and more, um, and, and really put the time in. And and going back, that's a good point. Going way back into the spring when when he couldn't do everything physically, the things that he could do were mental. And so to see him you know really jump feet first and 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 attack the mental part of the game uh there during that time and then continue to build on that in in training camp and during the season um you know kyler's been great kyler's been great from the start from when i got here yeah you know once again i I love that measured approach too that monty austin ford has taken with Kyler Murray right now. Listen, you know what? Uh, we, we have nothing to really compare it to last year. We know what we've been told about Ky- Kyler Murray, but as they should do right now, they're going to go ahead and vet Kyler Murray. They're going to weigh and measure Kyler Murray based on their experience with Kyler Murray. And this is one of the reasons why um, what came first, Kyler Murray changing changing as a person i mean kyler murray even said himself i think i'm a different person that 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 came from kyler murray what was it kyler changing first or was it the coaching staff and monty Ford coming in with this new philosophy this new culture 
that was going to change him. I don't know what that is. Only Kyler knows the answer to that. Yeah, here's what Kyler had to say. I mean, I, yeah, I think I'm a different person. I think I think so. I think just uh, some things that, you know, happen to you, you can't really control that just, you know, either elevate you or, or bring you down. But I think this is one of those things that, like, like I said, everything happens for a reason. I think it was for the better, um, not only for me, but just for everyone, you know. Um, and I think that... Uh, you know, a lot of people keep saying that I'm a different, you know, oh, he's such a better leader now, he's this and that. Like, I don't, I just think people, um, I don't want to get too much into it. But um, just being, it's just, you know, the light's different right now. You know, I think uh, people around me, um, teammates, everybody, it's just, uh, it's just different energy. We also talked to Monty Austin Ford about his draft class, you know, through, through 10 games now and getting contributions up and down. Uh, the, the draft uh, list this year, even down in the sixth round, Terrell Clark popped early. Uh, Dante Stills, another sixth-round pick, is, has had his moments this year. Popo on special teams. Uh, Clayton Toon started a game, obviously didn't go well, but but he but he played. Uh, Michael Wilson had his moments, and he's going to pop more with Kyler being back. Garrett Williams is back now, making plays. B.J. Ojolari coming off his best game. And, of course, Paris Johnson Jr. starting every game. Uh, at you right mentioned tackle. Dante Stills, of course, Yeah, right? I did. It was the first guy I mentioned. <laughs> yeah, I That's what I'm talking about. I mean, about. in the so sixth round. Went, I see what you did. You I went bottom re- up. Look, um, 213th pick overall. It's West Virginia. It's West Virginia. The pride of every mountaineer. Okay? I won't sing it. I'll just say it. <laughs> Dante still Dante. That's my guy. Dante's in Birdo. Um, I'm really, really impressed with his draft class right now. And what was also very interesting, Monty let us know that the the draft class of the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, well, go ahead and do that. Play yeah, that. Yeah, me. there's Monty, and then we'll get your reaction, Wolf. I know I sound a little bit like a broken record, but the, w- when that group got here in the spring, like they they came in with a maturity um, that that is pretty rare in a rookie class. And so, you know, there there's a there there's a different examples and different levels of these guys having opportunities to, to contribute. And you know, we're playing a lot of young players, uh, whether they're draft picks or undrafted free agents. Um, we're right now we we have the most snaps by a rookie class in the entire league. So we're playing guys and. and and that are getting opportunities and not only are they getting those opportunities but I would say for the most part those guys are taking advantage of those and um, you know is it is it perfect no like we don't have all the answers we don't have things figured out but we we've, we've played a lot of young players they are producing um, is there things that we got to do better absolutely um, but you know I think on both sides of the ball offensive de- offensively defensively and even on special teams like we're getting contributions out of our rookie class and so as long as they continue to produce like that they're going to continue to get more opportunities to contribute most snaps by rookies in the national football league man i did not know that right there you know i guess when you stop and think about it all the opportunities they've had to run some people out there because of the injury situation they've had i i just did not know that i was surprised by that maybe i shouldn't have been 